Hey everyone, it is Jen at Ink Paper Rubber. I'm about ready to head out for the evening, but before I go, I have something really exciting I want to show you. We got in today our first shipment of Birch Press dies. Birch Press is a um, in the memory box family of companies, so you know that their products are really amazing. And we had done a special order for some of their products and we got them in today and I have just a few of them left and I wanted to share them with you. I've got some samples because these are amazing. I'm going to be really sad to see some of you guys buy these because um, I would love to have a chance to play with them some more. But let me show you. These are layering die sets and in the three that we have there are three different dies in each set. There you're just seeing two of them. There is a third die in there and they are all made to layer together. You can use them by themselves, but they really are designed to layer together, and they are fabulous. I really haven't seen anything like them before. They are not inexpensive because you are getting multiple dies. This is the least expensive of the three sets we have. This is the Radiant Ornament Set, and it's $32 for the complete set. So that's only a little bit over $10 a die. And I know that's not inexpensive, but I think when you see all the possibilities with these, you are going to be absolutely amazed. So one of the sets I have is the Radiant Ornament. The other set that I have is the Stargazer set, and there are three dies in this set. And this set is $44. And the last one that I have available is the Trina Snowflake. And again, there are three dies in this one, and this is the priciest of them all. This is $50, but let me show you what you get. Now, I have started out with these all layered together because it's going to be kind of tough for me uh, one-handed to get them back layered, but I'm going to take them apart because they are not glued together yet to show you what you can do. So this is the Radiant Ornament, and you can see the C layer, which is the bottom layer that has the most showing, I have cut out of the darkest cardstock, kind of out of the turquoise cardstock. Then the B layer, which is in the middle, I have cut out of some lighter blue cardstock. And finally, my top layer is out of some shimmer paper, and I have cut the ornament cap out of some silver glitter paper, and I think when I put this all together, I'm going to back it with this silver glitter paper. Isn't that gorgeous? So, so beautiful. Think of all the different color combinations that you could do. But what I wanted to be certain to show you is that you can totally use these layers by themselves. So there you could just use that one layer and um, put the topper on it and you would have a beautiful card right there. I also want to mention that there's lots of detail in these, but these are really high quality dies. I had no problems whatsoever um, cutting these. They cut so nicely. They're made in the USA and they are super high quality, so um, you don't really have to worry about that. And obviously, you could use any of the layers by themselves. If you want to just use two layers together, you can certainly do that as well. There is the bottom layer. You can see it has the most solid area. And then they layer up on top so that a little bit of the layer underneath shows through there. So that is how that one works. All right, so the next one I'm going to show you a sample of is the Stargazer. And this one has the three different layers as well. And I kind of played around with this one just a little bit and found some really fun things. So there you can see the three layers are all layered together and they are really nice. I also did this one that my bottom layer here I cut out of the dark pink cardstock. So I cut it again out of the medium pink cardstock and I took some of those pieces that came out of the dark pink one and I just did a little bit of paper piecing and I think if you just maybe did a die cut word over that, that would be a really cute little card as well. These layers, of course, can be used by themselves. It would be fun on this one to do some paper piecing, uh, cut it out of different colors, and do some piecing in there. So there is the A layer, there is the B layer, and there is the C layer. And something else that I discovered when I was playing around, I think these are, I know this one does kind of remind me of a quilt. That one I think is designed to layer like that where these little um, 
crossbars here line up, but I wondered what if I rotated this so that it did not line up. So there I get that, and then I can come in and I can put my top layer on, and I can line that up with the bottom layer, and I get a totally different look, but I think that is gorgeous as well. So definitely you need to just play around with these and try all different color combinations and you know some of them don't have to be lined up in the traditional way you can line them up a little bit differently all right the last one that i have to show you is the trina snowflake layer and this one is unique among these three because each of the layers actually cuts out in two pieces so that you can use them all together or you can use them separately or in some combination thereof. So here is the whole thing put together. I went a little bit more non-traditional on this and I went with some grays on it. And let me see if I can peel some of these layers off and show you. So I'm going to take out just this center layer. You can see how that is separate. So if I wanted to, I could use all the layers except for the center layer, I could take out that top layer and have it be like that. I could also, if I want to, I can take out these layers separately. And so let's take this apart here. And we could go in and we could just use the center pieces by themselves and just use that by itself and that kind of gives you a little flower effect and we can also use just the outside pieces and here it doesn't look so much like a snowflake anymore um, and I actually thought this would be really fun it kind of reminds me a little bit of a mandala or something kind of get a bohemian vibe from it and I thought it'd be fun to do it in some really bright colors and kind of get a bohemian vibe and that's not layered up perfectly but there I think you can get the idea so even though this set of dies cost fifty dollars you have lots of different possibilities I will tell you since these just came in these are not included in our 20 percent off Christmas um, off of the ornament here and this is what I have I mean literally I have one of each of these so this is definitely first come first served but um, I encourage you to go out and take a look at the Birch Press website um, their website is, uh, it's on, probably on the back, I believe it's Birch Press Designs. If you go search for Birch Press dies, you will find it and look at some of the other beautiful dies. We'll be getting some more of these in. They have some beautiful ones for spring, butterflies, and things like that. So anyhow, um, I hope you will go check those out. The last thing I want to remind you of is our holiday make and take projects continue tomorrow. And tomorrow you'll be making this cute little box. This is a gift. If you come in and do this, it is going to be all ready to go. It would be a great stocking stuffer or if you need a last minute secret Santa gift, this would be great. So you'll construct this little box and inside it holds a little chapstick and we are even including the chapstick with it. We have some fun, different fun flavors that you can choose from for your chapstick. So if you come in and make this, you have a gift all ready to go. You don't have to wrap it or anything. So hope if you have a chance, you'll come by and see us tomorrow. Have a great evening and we look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.